Canada is a young nation, only becoming a country in 1867. However, Canada is pretty mature for its age. The landmass upon which Canada stands is actually the oldest in the world. About 4.6 billion years ago, during the Hadean Eon, planet Earth formed, taking about 10 to 20 million years to cool and harden from molten rock. With cooling came the development of atmospheres and cloud formations. With clouds came rain, and with rain came the oceans. Near the end of the Hadean Eon, a belt of coarse-grained rock with rich mineral bands called Acasta Nice formed in the region known today as the Canadian Shield. At an age of 4 billion years, Acasta Nice is the oldest rock on Earth, which technically makes Canada the oldest country in the world. During the Hadean Eon, the Acasta Nice rock belt was the only land in the region of today's North America. Then, throughout the Archean, Proterozoic, and Phanerozoic eons, continents and supercontinents formed and broke apart due to plate tectonics, the large-scale sliding of layers of Earth's lithosphere. Although there have been many supercontinents in Earth's long history, the one most concerning to our modern world is Pangaea. Pangaea was first formed about 300 million years ago during the Permian period, and it incorporated almost all of the land masses in the world. When Pangaea broke up about 175 million years ago during the Jurassic period, it slowly but surely formed the modern continents. When the northern continent of Laurasia split, it pushed North America away from Eurasia, opening up the vast Atlantic Ocean. But the single most influential event of Canada's modern geology was the retreating of the massive Laurentide ice sheet during the Pleistocene epoch. About 20,000 years ago, at the end of the last ice age, the three-kilometer thick ice sheet covered almost all of Canada and the northern United States. As the Earth began to warm, the mass of ice buckled under its own weight and slid southward for centuries, grinding down the surface of the land, cutting through rock like butter, and leaving valleys, fjords, and debris in its wake. Much of the modern geological features of our nation can be attributed to this massive ice sheet. Cool. 